Hi guys and welcome to my June favourites video. I, I'm really excited to be making this. There's lots of new things in here that haven't been in any of my favourite videos before, which is obviously exciting. Uh, I broke it up into categories of hair care, body care, skin care, makeup, clothes and miscellaneous. So I'm just going to jump straight into it and I hope Category you enjoy. Category is makeup and the first thing in that is lip. So I have three lip products. These are two lipsticks and a lip stain. Uh, the first lipstick is Max Lipstick in Sandy B, which I got recently. It's a frost and it's just a nice peachy colour. I have really, really been liking this. It's lovely with my skin tone and also my sister's tan, more tan than me. And uh, she had, she was at a wedding and I put this on her and she looked, it really suited her as well. It also really suits my mum and she's a lot more tan than me. So I feel like it suits all skin tones because I'm relatively pale if you can't, if you can see just now. Um, but I love that. I'm not too keen on frost lipsticks or MAC. I love Angel. Angel's one of my favourite lipsticks. But I fell in love with that one. The next two are, go, keep, go together, they're both red and I have both of them on just now. It is a lip stain and a lipstick. So the lip stain is one I've had forever and I've just recently um, rekindled my love for it. And it's the Max Factor Lipfinity Lasting Lip Tint in number 07. And just, I've had this for a good while. My friend Chloe actually got one and I was like, oh, I really like it. It is almost out. I'm going to definitely repurchase that because it is great to wear under red lipsticks, which is what I do with it. It's also nice to wear on its own if you don't want a really dramatic look. But I have this lipstick over the top and I think I've spoken about this before, I'm not sure. But it's the Rimmel Kate Moss Collection lipsticks. And this is in colour 22 and it's just a bright red. And I absolutely adore this lipstick. It's really smooth, really creamy, great colour payoff, has great lasting power. Is just amazing and I like the more bluey toned reds to go well to go with my skin tone rather than the really the so do face products which is my last four products um so yeah I have a foundation brush from Revlon which has been what I have been applying my makeup with this month like this full month it is a really great size I think that's why I like it so much um, and it just applies my foundation perfectly. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Next is the 17 Miracle Matte Press Powder. It's the oil free and I don't necessarily have oily skin but on my forehead my makeup does kind of tend to slide around and gather in the middle um, and go all patchy and this has stopped that from happening. It has been brilliant, it's made my makeup double its last in power. I can go to school all day and then still go out at night time and not have to do major touch up touch ups. So love that. This is in the colour Ivory Porcelain and it just has no colour payoff. Like which probably if it was like a blush or something would be bad. But it's perfect for its product is the new foundation I have been absolutely loving. Like I only bought it really recently but it has to go in here. As because I bought it in June. It's the MAC Studio Sculpt Foundation and I'm in the colour NW15 and I have tried MAC foundations before. I've tried Face and Body and Pro Longwear and Face and Body I was NC15 and for Pro Longwear they matched me as NW20 and just not, neither of them were right for my skin tone. Absolutely loveless, perfect colour match Perfect, 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 perfect. And the last product is the Accessorize Highlighter. I really, really, really like this. I always thought until I actually went into my that I was cool tone skin. And um, it wasn't recently until I started wearing gold jewellery that I found out I'm not. I actually suit gold jewellery more. Um, but yeah. This is a gold toned highlighter, usually I go for the more pinky toned highlighters, but I really, 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 really 
really, 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 really can't stress enough how much I love this. It adds the most perfect glow to your skin ever. My mum used it, she loves it. My sis I used it on my sister, it was absolutely stunning. And it was actually my friend Fiona that pointed it out to me when we were in Superdrug and she was like, Oh my god, Caitlin, you have to buy this, it's so amazing. And I love it. Next section is hair care and I have three things to show you. One of them I think I was in my last monthly favourites but I'm not too sure so I'm just going to fling it in again. And it's the Pantene Nature Fusion, Nature Fusion Moisture Balance Leave-In Conditioner. The amount this has helped my hair is unbelievable. I have a quite dry skin and dry scalp and when I brush my hair when it's dry it just tends, it tends to just break off. And it was all over my legs and it was just horrible. So this has just decreased that and almost stopped it completely. I love this. I've used it for ages now and I will continue to use this. And also if anyone else can recommend like a hair mask, I would, not the macadamia oil one. Because that's really expensive, mainly like a cheaper version. I would be very, very happy. Next is the dry shampoo from Batiste and I heard about this one on Miss Budget Beauty's channel. She has blonde hair and she says this is really good for when like, your roots come in but just watch before because it does come out a bit yellow and make your hair go a bit yellow. But I have been using this because I've sought for summer now and I go on holiday on Saturday and I'm taking this with me plus another bottle because I am so lazy. Like I am the laziest person you'll probably ever meet. I sit upstairs and if I want to ask my mum something, instead of getting up and walking downstairs, I just phone her. Like, I'm so lazy and I don't even try and hide it. I am. And this is going to sound disgusting, but I hate washing my hair. I hate it. I hate it so much. So, 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 so much. I just hate washing my hair. And I've always used dry shampoo. But I either use the cherry one or just or the tropical one. This is going to be my new best friend because I don't want to get my hair done that often, so my roots get really bad, and this is just going to fix it. <sighs> Love it. And the last one is the Scorch Cough Got to Be Powderful Volumizing Saline Powder. Oh my god, like. Wait till I just give over here a wee zhush first. But like, there's a the difference. Like, I didn't actually rub my hair first before I started the video. But this, it says to sprinkle it in your hand. I just sprinkle it straight on my roots. Zhush, zhush, zhush. And I've always had flat, kind of limp hair. This has made such a difference. And I always thought to get volumized hair, you have to use mousse, but mousse just did not work in my hair whatsoever. This has, it does have a weird texture to it, it makes your hair feel kind of sticky and waxy but I will not stop using this stuff. It is amazing. I love it. Go get it. <laughs> the next category is skincare slash body care and I have three products to show you. The first is the Garnier Simply Essentials 2-in-1 makeup remover which is not, doesn't look 2-in-1 now because I just dropped it. Um, but it has like, the darker blue oil on top and then the solution in the bottom. But this takes all my makeup off. It's for face and eyes and it takes it all off. I just use it with a cotton pad. It takes all my makeup off which means I don't have to double wash my face. Therefore saving face wash. Which is always good because that saves money. And I'm skinned. The next is Garni again. I love Garni. Like that's just a favourite is Garni. Garni is so good for my skin. Well... Hopefully it's helping. It does help. But Garnier is so good for my skin. I love it. Garnier is my favourite skincare brand ever. Ever, ever, ever. I love them to bits. But this is the Moisture Match for dull skin. This is the best moisturiser I have ever used for in the morning. It's a gel consistency, gel formulation. Dries in so fast. You can put it on, I put it on, and then within seconds it's like gone. My skin's absorbed it. My skin feels moisturised. 
I can apply my makeup straight away. And the last one is a body product and this is in here just purely for the scent. I'm not a big body moisturising person but this scent is just, this is my go to summer body moisturiser. I love this and it's, I haven't even told you what it is yet but I can probably, you can probably tell from the bright pink packaging and the huge tub and it's very famous, it is the Righteous Butter from Soap and Glory. Um, the next product category is Scent of the Month and this has been the Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely Perfume, Lovely Perfume which the writing is all came off of but it's really sweet and fresh smelling and I like that. This is clothing favourites which I've never actually done before in a favourites video but I've been wearing quite a lot of the same things recently so they're all just kind of here and I'll just go through them uh, the first is this t-shirt it's inside out just now but I got this from Asda and it's just bright orange like neon orange and it has palm trees over the top and it and it ties at the front there you can see it's inside out but yeah, this was £8, I believe, from Asda. And I love this. And it's just it keeps falling up higher. The next top I have... In fact, I'm not even going to try and do that. Next thing I have is a skirt. And I feel I've been liking wearing skirts. I actually have one of my favourites on just now, which I will show you. Um, but this one's from Hollister. It's like the cutest skirt ever. I've been really liking wearing this when it's nice and warm because it's just... So summery, it's unbelievable and it's just so cute and I've been really liking this. Next is another skirt, I've actually been really loving skirts this month and this one is from Topshop and it's a denim skirt and it's got dark blue denim in the middle and then light blue kind of acid wash at the side which is really slimming, it's also extremely stretchy and comfortable which I love and I've been loving wearing this with this top here from H&M. I actually got both of these last summer I think and um, I've just been loving wearing these and this with like, that skirt's high waisted so this with a, a black bralette underneath is just so cool to wear. I don't mean like, it's just, I don't mean cool as in, oh my god that's so cool, I mean cool as in when it's really warm outside you don't get pure roasting. Last is this top which um, is from International and I have been loving wearing this. It's just really floaty and baggy and it has NYC written on it and it's super comfortable. I love the colour. It's like an off-white almost kind of oatmeal kind of colour. I absolutely adore this. So comfortable. Love wearing this with a skirt. And the last skirt, I don't know if we'll be able to see it if I stand up, but oh, you kind of can. I have like this little polka dot top tucked in, I'll move you down a bit. But um, it's just this grey denim skirt from H&M, it ties here in the front. And yeah, it's like a mini skirt type thing. I love it a lot, it's super comfortable. Okay, the last bit is kind of random favourites. So the first I have is some books and I'm so late to be on the bandwagon with this book book. But um I've wanted to watch a movie for so long and I just refused to let myself watch it before I read the book because I'm one of those people. Um so I borrowed the book off my friend Amy and I read it in like three days. It is Perks of an Old Flower. It is one of the most famous books this year, I think. It is just amazing. It's such a good book. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend it. I um, but I have this little book, and it's just got little sparkles all on it. And I read obviously on Tumblr at the end of last year, like get a jar, write all the good things that happen in it, and at the end, read it. At the end of the year, read it. So I've just kind of been willy nilly filling this book up with things um yeah I'll read them <gasps> we're done and if you made it to this point of the video 
I love you. You're so I'm so proud of you. You stuck with all my shape through the whole way. Um, but we're not done yet. As I said, I was going to talk at the end. So I'm going holiday on Saturday, and today I found out there's Wi-Fi. Woo! There's Wi-Fi at the villa I'm staying at. So hopefully I'll be able to. I can upload videos while I'm away, which is so exciting. So I'm away for two weeks. And now that I'm really into the swing and making my videos, I'm really, really, really enjoying it. I don't want to stop. So, yeah. Um, that is what I wanted to say. I will see you in my next video, which is night time just now. I always tend to film at this time of night, like, seven-ish, six-ish, seven-ish. Because it's light outside and I'm kind of done everything I have to do for the day. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye!